A survey was conducted at a local ballroom dance studio asking 90 students if they had ever competed in the following dance categories, smooth, rhythm, standard. The results are shown here below in the Venn diagram, and because 90 students were surveyed, if we add all these numbers, the sum is 90, which is important to recognize because remember, the probability of an event is equal to the favorable number of outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes. And because we are selecting one student at random from 90 students, the total number of outcomes will always be 90 for each of the probabilities. We first want to find the probability that if one student is chosen at random, the student has competed in none of the categories. So looking at the Venn diagram, these eight students are the students that have not competed in any of the three categories, and therefore there are eight favorable outcomes out of a total of 90, giving us a probability of eight divided by 90, or eight ninetieths. Eight and 90 share a common factor of two. To simplify, we divide both by two. Eight divided by two is four. 90 divided by two is 45. The simplified probability is four forty-fifths as a fraction, Let's also show the probability as a decimal and a percent. If we want the percent to have one decimal place, the decimal must have three decimal places. So let's go to the calculator and convert the fraction to a decimal. Four divided by 45, enter. To three decimal places is 0 .089 or 0 0.089, which gives us 8.9%. Just keep in mind the fraction is exact and these two are rounded. Next, we want the probability the student has competed in all three of the categories. We can find these students in the intersection of the three sets, which is this set here. Because 11 students have competed in all three categories out of the 90 students, the probability is 11 ninetieths or 11 divided by 90. And again, let's also show the decimal and percentage. So 11 divided by 90 to three decimal places is 0 0.122, which is equal to 12.2%. Next, we want the probability the student has competed in smooth or standard, but not rhythm. Let's first determine the set that represents the students that competed in smooth or standard, which is going to be the union of the smooth and standard sets. So all of these students competed in smooth or standard, but we're looking for the students that competed in smooth or standard, but not rhythm, which means now we must remove the part of the set that also includes rhythm, which is this part of the set here. So if we remove this part of the set, it leaves us with the set here in red, where the students in this set in red have competed in smooth or standard, but not rhythm. And now we need to figure out how many students this would be. There are 10 plus 12 plus seven, which is 29 students. There are a total of 29 favorable outcomes out of a total of 90 outcomes for the student to have competed in smooth or standard, but not rhythm. So the probability is 29 90ths, which doesn't simplify. But let's also find the decimal and percentage. 29 divided by 90 to three decimal places is 0 0.322, which is equal to 32.2%. Next, we want the probability the student has competed in rhythm and standard, but not smooth. Let's first find the students that competed in rhythm and standard by determining the intersection of the rhythm and standard sets. So the intersection of the rhythm and standard sets is this set here. But notice how this part of the set overlaps with the smooth set. So these 11 students also competed in smooth, and we're looking for the number of students that competed in rhythm and standard, but not smooth. So if we remove these 11 students from the set, we're left with the set here in red, which again, these 13 students competed in rhythm and standard, but not smooth and therefore there are 13 favorable outcomes out of a total of 90 outcomes. The probability is 13 ninetieths, which converting to a decimal 
is approximately 0 0.144, which gives us 14.4%. And for the last probability, we want the probability the student has computed in rhythm. So they save the easiest one for last. The students that computed in rhythm will be in the rhythm set, which is this set here. And there are a total of 14 plus 15 plus 11 plus 13, or 53 students in the rhythm set, and therefore there are 53 favorable outcomes out of a total of 90 outcomes. The probability is 53 90ths. Let's convert this to a decimal and percent. 53 divided by 90 is approximately 0 0.589. which gives us 58.9%. I hope you found this helpful.